Okay, are we live? Is it the right live stream that's alive? Because, uh, I can't tell. Well, I'm gonna be able to tell once I get my phone up here in a second. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like the uh, 1965 season is not the one that's working, which is good, because this doesn't need to be, uh, the one that's up. Oh my god. Please don't speak anymore. Thanks. Um, so today, obviously, if you can tell by the title, we're obviously doing Tr Taylor's Gray's truck flip. Um, and that's another reason why we're doing it is because it's raining uh, Daytona. But we are doing uh, uh, Taylor Gray's uh, truck flip. But we're also doing Perez's Arca Near flip that many people didn't see because they either went to bed thinking it's going to happen today or they just said so screw it. Um, I will show you Perez's crash, but Taylor Gray's already, you know, you already know exactly what happened. We're just gonna show, you, we're gonna show you guys Perez's, cause not a lot of people, or at least I'm assuming not a lot of people saw it. Let me just, there. So, as you see, they are wrecking, 20 car gets turned into the outside wall. We do not have a 2024 set yet, but some of these cars are uh, close to uh, 2023 cars, like uh, two cars, 73 car, six cars close. Uh, a couple of other cars like Grand Vess Van Austin's car. And another thing is, I didn't expect anyone to flip, first of all. And I didn't expect anyone to crash this hard. Like, Jesus, look at how hard this is. Just gets on, kind of hits him in the wall pretty hard, and it goes under the car, and then gets hit by these guys. And right here, I thought the car was gonna go over, but still, it's just, it somehow stayed on top of the car and never went over. Even right here, I was expecting it to go kind of over, but it stayed on its wheels the whole way. And then everyone already knows uh, Grace flips. So I don't have to show that. But anyway, we're going to start with Gray's first, just because, uh, I feel like Perez's crash is going to be easier, honestly. And I'm not going to say that just because I feel like I'm better, and it's probably not going to be that way, but, also, did I pick the right thing? I think I picked truck. What, uh, we're in the right cars, correct? Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure I was on the right mod because I clicked way too quickly before me, for me to realize. So I got turned down my, my headset. Not all the way off, just like. There we go. Or I barely hear it. Okay, it's gonna be hard to get off the start finish line because, well, I gotta fix that at some point if I uh, keep messing up. Because I have to add some grip for the CTS part of the tracks so and I can get it to grip up and not spin. Well, I'm probably gonna keep the grip it the way it is for Perez's crash because I'm probably gonna need it. Now, Perez's crash, I know you landed on top of a car, right? But, if I can do it correctly, and get turned right up into the wall, maybe I can get, I hit the wall, get airborne somehow, and maybe the car can go right underneath me. Now, Perez's crash is going to be based off of, like, the first half, pretty much. The second half of the crash is going to be kind of hard to do, where he doesn't flip over into the grass. Like I was expecting. This crash here, we're just going to do what we did in Matt Crafton's crash, where we just try to get spun by someone. Hopefully, we uh, get next to the wall back, completely backwards or something. Like, maybe like this, and then maybe someone hits me? Nope. See, uh, I know it's going to be a little off, but that's the fun of it, as we just get destroyed by Tony Bryanger. Uh...
Hit me. Thanks. <laughs> also, if you didn't see my community post that posted yesterday at like, I don't know, 5 p.m. or 5 a.m. in the morning. Not my time, but probably for other people. Um, I posted me saying, I might have predicted Terra Grace Flip because I used this, the same paint scheme, but it was at Talladega. And it was in a similar part of the uh, pack, too. So, you know. That's, a, that's, a, that's like the. Like, literally, that's like. the So far, that's the only thing I really predicted was a truck blower. That's the only thing I predicted. Yeah, I think your diary, he uh, got a a uh, belt check, you know, if you know what I mean by it. Same, same thing with what happened to Corey and, uh, and Newman's crash. Because it was a similar thing. It, it wasn't like he was upside down, but like, I meant like the way he hit was car was going slower and it almost came out of nowhere and hit him at a pretty bad angle of the car. I'm just happy it wasn't a huge crash, like someone getting hurt crash, like a Blaney's crash in the duels. I'm happy it wasn't like that. I'm happy it was a pretty safe flip for the way it was. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Oh, no. Yeah, this is going to be hard. Especially when it's a little bit of a pack is kind of... Oh, the pack's not completely together correctly. Because, uh, I think it's Perez and Branger's cars aren't perfectly, um, you know, correct. Uh, or, in, like, correctly paced. Um, my Xfinity prediction, honestly, I don't think anyone's flipping. I'm I'm saying that someone's gonna hit the catch fence. I don't know how hard, but I I feel like it's gonna be more of like a a general Hemrix, but uh yeah, win does help. Also, uh, yeah, the win is very high, by the way. Um, uh, I should probably turn that down for this crash because I think that's what's kind of screwing me. It's I know this. It's gonna look weird if we get this crash. Because the way the pack is, and also how less cars there are, but also the fact that I'm probably going to be airborne before I get hit, if I can get that type of attempt. But I honestly, I'm taking anything that looks remotely good. As long as I barrel once without touching the ground, and someone hits me, it, like, get me to do that. Even if I'm a little bit airborne already, uh, I'll count it. Because that's the only thing about this crash that's kind of, you know, bad is having to f get this everything correct. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Damn it. Oh, this is what... I just got Newman. I just realized that. Oh my god, I just saw... Who was that? Oh, he's going to slide by us in a second here. I think that's the 9 car. I thought I saw another flip. <laughs> Like when I saw Perez get up in there, I was like, "Did I say? Did I see two flips back to back?" Like I don't think that's ever happened. I mean, there's been flips like 24 hours within each other, but not like back to back in me races. Like, also, the thing is about Grace flip. It wasn't a complete Matt Crafton because he was getting pushed by the whole pack while Matt Crafton already was airborne before he got hit. So that's why I mean this is gonna look a little off. Uh, so what's up, TRS? And then you got Kevin Hart, not happy. Kevin Hart is not happy. And then you got Minecraft and Net Fan One. Might want to change that username at some point because I don't know if Minecraft and Net still races at this point. I either, either he does, I just don't remember, or he doesn't even race anymore. Unless he was just that big of a fan. Which I was. I will admit, when he was in the 5 car next to me, I was a big a net fan. I 
I wish it brought back the or brought back the five car. I think that was still under yeah, it was still under junior stuff, I think. Now I keep getting up into the fence, that's the only problem right now. Yeah, your your profile is the sad cow boost for the blindy crash. Also, hello, Gustavo. I mean, it was a, it was a, that wreck was, it wasn't too far off. It just, the barrel wasn't there. It was, it was decent, but I, I'm just trying to look for maybe me being able to spin pretty quickly and then be completely backwards next to the wall and then see if I can get hit airborne and then go over. That's what I'm looking for. If we get one where the pack pushes me and I get contact with the ground at some point, but I still only roll once, um, and I'm like completely backwards when I get pushed by the pack, I'm, I'll save it, and then we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of go based off of that from then on. I'm just looking for a decent one with this one. The Perez crash, I think it's going to be easier. In my honest opinion, it's just it's gonna be hard to get that first car to wreck though, and then be able to wreck hard. And of course, okay, I'm gonna change that real quick. I gotta change the yeah, grips real quick. I gotta change the grip because that's what's gonna like, make this thing way harder than it should be. Uh, yeah, let's put the psych up to 8, maybe. Actually, let's put it to 6, because I don't want to risk the AI being stupid. Cause some, for some reason, they have an issue with the tra this track with having group. And I know it's because of the track careers that like people turning up uh, grip and stuff. Well, the only reason why I think people hate him now is just because they think that he abruptly turned right into the pack and then caused that. Well, it looked like that at first for me. When I looked at it the second time, it wasn't that egregious. So I was like, okay, it wasn't that bad. I thought he like really dumped the field. Well, he kind of just looked like he just pushed up high. I, uh, that's my honest opinion. I thought uh, he kind of did it on purpose, but on s re under further review, he just kind of pushed up. Either way, I don't, I don't really care for what happened. I was just happy that no one got really that hurt and it's a super speed race stuff like that's gonna happen so that's why I kind of ex I don't really get mad about it because I expected it from anybody not just him I'm j I mean yeah Bubba is the only I feel like Bubba only did because he wanted to make sure that he didn't think Raja meant to do it on purpose nor he uh was okay with wrecking the field, which that's an okay thing to do, is give he little uh, snippets about our drivers talking to our drivers and not trying to censor everything. I mean, it was good, it's just I need I need a couple of cars like right here pushing me all the way over. But as you see there I got hit by uh, the 98 as he got hit by the crafting car but I just it's not enough. Yeah there was like there was a lot of cars that got airborne in that one wreck too. Uh, Gray got airborne obviously. Um, the 9 I think it was the 97 car. No, 91 car. If I think it's Howard. I uh, got airborne when he got turned first by uh, 
gray after getting. No, no, he got he turned he got turned into gray, got airborne, and then Majestic got T bone. Gray went all the way over. I think it was. I think there was. An, I don't know what that card was. The joy got up in there. I don't remember seeing her joys. Probably because there was not like a good camera angle for me to see it. All I know is Stuart almost flipped in the, the first lap crash. It looked like he kind of did like a Matt Dibodeau, but instead of winning the Talladega race, he's down the back trailway on lap six. Like, jeez. Matt B. Burrito! My boy. Okay, good, good, good. We got a good start. See, now I can get off the start without being twitchy. Because I know my uh, chances are going to be good of being able to make it to turn two. And then... You obviously got the two cars that got airborne and the uh, Arca race with uh, Perez and then... Uh, what's his name? Um... Melton and then that Willis guy. Oh, I I barely started. Lucky, <laughs> I barely started, man. Um, we we did have a couple of attempts where it w could be a potential uh factor, but we didn't get like pushed by the field. That's my only problem. Is I want the field to kind of push me all the way over. If I if I get pushed by the field, come down on my roof. A little bit and then come back on my wheels. Now I'll count it, but you know. Oh, so what are you? Oh. Air Jack Wigoff? Is that the guy in the 91 car? Oh, that was Howard. I, yeah, I think it was Wood. I, I think you're correct. I thought it was Howard. I, I'm just not up to date with the truck roster anymore. I'm only used to like three or four drivers at this point. It's Kraft and Rose, Majeski and uh, Gray, Taylor Gray. That's like the, and Heim. Heim is another one. Those are like the only four or five uh, I know like, off the bat. Because everyone else is either changed or changed numbers. Push him, push him, push him. Oh, no, man. Come on. Oh, that wasn't even going to be good in the first place because we're getting Ryan Newman. Oh, Ryan Priest. Oh, man. Hey, I don't like Ryan Priest. Oh, man. Like, it's going to be hard. It's like the it's probably the hardest crash I gotta do. Like I needed someone right under me, right here, and then get back on my uh, wheels. The Nintendo 65. Uh, sir, don't want to ask these questions. <laughs> I don't know. Ask your uh, nearby drug dealer. <laughs> right. Oh, so I'm aware that t Gray probably didn't have his rookie stripes, but we don't have the 2024 set, obviously. So, I just had the closest cars for today, and then, like, the two trucks that were actually made for 2024, which is Brindingers and, uh, or Brindingers. Right. Brian Jingers, I can't say it. Brian Jingers car and Sanchez's car. That's the only two that's 2024 that's been made. Of as of me looking at Stun Odd last night. <laughs> I just hope no one like gets hurt this weekend. Um, for the X-Hang Cup race. Twenty twenty, this is the yeah, there you go. Uh 
Okay, stop asking these 65 questions. Come on now. Come on, get... Oh no, we hit the fence. It was getting close, because we are actually getting pushed by the pack, but then it went boo-boo. And no one else flipped over, surprisingly, but Brindinger and Stuart killed each other. Did we hit the fence, or did we... Yeah, we definitely hit the fence. We kind of, like, might have snidered it. It was the closest attempt so far, being that we almost got pushed by the pack. Because we're getting definitely pushed right there. It's just... Yeah, that, that, that happened. Definitely the closest one yet. Uh, Explain prediction. I said this earlier, but you weren't here yet. Lucky. Um, I said that there's. I say a car is gonna hit the fence, but it's not gonna be a flip. I'm gonna say it's gonna be like a, a smash them up and turn three or turn one, and one car is gonna climb over another car a little bit and like clip the fence a couple times. Do like a Ben Kennedy up on top of a car. And then cup, um, and then my uh, cup prediction. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say my dream accident. I don't mean like, like I the one I want, the one that I recently had a dream about for some reason. Where. <laughs> A, a generic car, a generic super speedway for some reason at night flipped down the back straightway into the catch fence on the inside. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. And why I had this dream. It was probably because I was messing around in 2003 and I flipped and I was watching my 2002 crash comp with the Jimmy Johnson priest into the fence crash. And I had a dream about it somehow. That's probably what happened. Probably not, but you know. Push me, guys. No, I better roll too many times that time. Ouch! Mm. Definitely a hard impact. So I'm definitely getting backwards correctly. It's just I need the guy to not to hit me in my front wheel before I hit the wall. Because I need to hit straight. So maybe my car lifts a little when it hits the wall. And then maybe if the top lane kind of piles into each other, I can hit my front end and flip me all the way over. That's what I'm kind of banking on. It's kind of cool to land on the car, but I'm just hoping to... Pat kind of flips me all the way over. I don't even care if I land. And Jeffrey, well done. So I do recall there being a special EXC for. Yeah, but. I don't know how that would affect this, honestly. I don't know if it would. I would do it, but I don't know if... I tried it with C CTS uh, once, but uh, it did not work correctly. So I don't know if it's just a cup thing. Which I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to switch the files. I don't feel like doing that. I don't care. I don't care about priest pavement. Nope, I hit the catch fence. I didn't even turn all the way over. Now I finally turned all the way over. Hey, it landed on the car. Oh, the dirty car was upside down. I was flipped in priest grass. That was, sim that was similar to what I've been saying of what I wanted to happen. Change to... I would, but I don't want them wrecking too early. I might do the D cell, but I'm not gonna do the uh, pack thing because I'm trying not to have them beat. I might close them in just a little bit, but not too much because I don't want to uh, 
have them just destroying themselves before they even get up to turn one. Because that's what sometimes happens. I'm just hoping whatever happens, if we even get a race today, it just doesn't get rained out, because I would like it to finish. I already know this. I'm not using it, because I'm trying to make this look as uh, realistically as possible, instead of just car spinning. Okay, and then push me over, push me over, push me over. God damn it. It was better because I wasn't immediately airborne, but only if I would have gotten a couple cars to hit me and push me all the way over. Okay, let's, let's do that real quick. A little decent. Let me fix this part for the cup side real quick. There we go. Oh. 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 Let's turn this down just a little bit. Not too bad, or not too sh like close. And then this, like, what did you say? Uh, point nine. I feel like two. I feel like two might be good. Close them in just a little bit. Have them a little bit less breaks. I think would help. I'm also a little racing champion. Seventy six. Yeah, that, that's what I'm assuming is going to happen uh, for your Xfinity your Cup is Monday. Um, I hope they get Xfinity in so we don't have to care about having one of the races get rained out or having to have a race on Tuesday. Or just have uh, class racing. <laughs> that would be stupid. Of cautions. I think Arca had like at least seven or eight. I don't even remember half of those cautions. I don't remember the fourth one. Or the four one. Or the four track. Ah, oh my god. The four wrecks. Okay. Bump draft. I already forgot who won in real life. I believe it was Sanchez. Hit me. I mean, it hit me, but ooh, that was a, I mean, it was a cool crash. I'll, I'll give him that. It was, it was definitely a cool crash. It was definitely an interesting crash. Oh yeah, let me. Okay, I don't remember four, but then I just remember five. Uh, the first, the four lap crash, then the uh, arc of breaks of hell. The uh, fiery crash, the caution crash, and then obviously the last crash. If you ask him caution crash, then you know. I do not know why the caution flag elapsed for Rorka is that long. I mean, I don't like Sanchez that much either. I kind of just wanted to barely curly, at least finish with the way that race has been. I don't know if he did, but he did get landed on. That was one of the cars that uh, Taylor landed on. Hello, turn three. We will use you later. We will see you later. Because this temp is going to go perfectly. Watch. Probably going to regret that, but, you know. If it does happen, it happens. If it doesn't, then I have just more attempts. Well, I'm gonna go for a certain amount of time. 
because I don't want to overdo it. Because if we don't get it, we can just do a part two. It's not that hard. Well, that's good. Chevy in front, so the body won't look weird. So I can just change that to sand shoes. Sand shoes. That's a, a weird name to have. Sand shoes. Get hit by the field. Nope. Did not happen whatsoever. Ouch. I did truly horrific things. Did you slam the wall on our 250 miles per hour on purpose? Not a serious question, I was just messing around. Boy! Hey, you need some milk. I think that's what Taylor Gray needs after that flip. And Perez after that crash. Okay, let's get ready for the attempt of our lives here if it's good or not. It's going to be definitely an a, a, a attempt, that's for sure. <sighs> I mean, it was close if it would have just picked me all the way up and over. Like, e. It was close. If these guys would have kind of turned up into me, maybe earlier, maybe I could have had it go all the way up and over. It's definitely the closer one, or the closest crash so far. I like how, like, I mean, I get they might be tired after that wreck, but like, the booth is just like, they're calling the right, they're calling the race right, and they're calling the last lap, and then Gray goes, gets spun, and they're like, they're crashing! And then the caution is out, it's over, car's up in the air, it's like, you couldn't just say car's up in the air, and then that, like, jeez, come on now. Up and over, all the way up and over, come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not uh, only problem with that is first of all I didn't completely go all the way over. Like as in this part didn't go that way where my cars are going. I kinda just did like a Harrison burn on top of a car. 
and no one else got involved. I didn't do a complete 360. I kind of just crowd surfed on them. Yeah, we can definitely do better. If the whole field was pushing us, so like if these this whole pack was pushing that car and got him to turn sideways, I would have had this cycle like that into a perfect roll. And then we would. I I'm not. Uh, I mm, no. I'm not gonna save it. I'm. I have. I have standards. Okay. It's definitely the best one so far, but it's. It's not up there yet. If I had the car go all the way up and over, had more of a crash, then, you know. So we know we can get cars to push us over. It's just we need the right hit into the wall and the right amount of cars slamming into each other. If we can do all of that, we should be able to go all the way up and over. All the way up and over. Robert Presley vibes. <laughs> I don't even know what that em emoji is, but it's questionable. Hey, come on. Give me the mixture of, uh, Matt Crafton, but like lowered. I need it lowered for a Matt Crafton, pretty much. And also, like the whole pack running into me when I'm up and over. Oh, come on, like, if those cars just hit me, I could go at least go all the way up and over. It might not be in the air completely, but it would definitely be an up and over. Like, jeez. It would be a complete flip instead of a half flip. That's what I was trying to say for that attempt. It, it wasn't a complete flip. It was a half flip. Like a beginning of a blowover, like priest crash. The first initial roof hit wasn't a complete roll. I say put them rain tires on. Which can't. Those things will not even be close. This ten car as in like cup. If cup, then that means uh, no Gregson's in the ten car. Ten car and Xfinity. Um, I think is in this race. I think it's Soros. No, Soros is fourteen. It might have been Haley. I don't know. Trucks. I don't think there's even a ten car. Arca, I don't even know. Like, I would have no idea besides Grant. The three guys there is Grant and Austin, uh, Tony Ryan, or not Tony, not three guys, three people. Tony Ranger and then, uh, s goddamn, um, <sighs> Sham Van Gisbergen. There we go. Hey, yeah, come on, get someone to the bottom or have the second part. There we go. Come on. Bottom line, let's go, let's go. I need you to turn me the wall just right and have the rest of the field just right slam into me while I'm upside down. Come on. Hit me, hit me, hit me. No, you hit me the wrong way. You worthless. You failure. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this now. Uh, I'm gonna have to resort to doing this real quick for the certain trucks because some of the trucks are way too far behind for whatever the reason. You go into the track I I settings for that. I'm not gonna show that because I'm trying to do a wreck right now. Which one day, right? I fuck, I screwed that up. I screwed that up. Go back over here. There we go. Come on, load. Oops. Come on. There's not that many trucks. There we 
go. Now we can go to A. Go here, here. And then hurry up, please. Go to trucks. 2023. And then that should give a couple of these trucks a better chance of getting near the pack. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Before we continue any farther, I'm going to turn down the diesel a, a tick or two real quick. Why is this so far back? Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to tr No, stop it! There we go. Uh, also, maybe do this. And then this to this. And then turn this down like a tick, so like right there. There we go. I think we should be fine now. Boo! Jesse Love got pulled. Boo! Okay, we should have a better chance here now. Shouldn't have an overpowered chance, or we should have a better chance of having the cars not be too overpowered against people. SGV SVG being top five, let's go. He better be able to run. I heard that he wasn't been able to run if he didn't race the Arca race for some reason, which I don't get why he can. Kind of stupid. Yeah, it's just a Gen 6 mod of CTS physics. I mean, I'm not, I'm not uh, barking about it. Yeah, Scott Mil Milton just got destroyed. Come on, I know we can do it. It's just it's gonna take a long time. I know we can get the cars to hit me and go all the way over. I've had it happen before. It's just a matter of uh, perfect setup and perfect timing is what's gonna help us here. Hit me over, hit me over, hit me over. Ah, oh, man, he, they just like stop too much. Like they just slow down out of nowhere. Oh no, Priest. Oh, Priest is up and over. Oh no. Oh, there goes Priest. Spinning up in there, pirouetting. Yeah, I. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the three car. Some people say he lost his brakes, but it looked like he just targeted him. <laughs> like Jesus. <laughs> nice but yeah, I need these guys to like you know hit me, please. I might have to turn their grip modifier down just a little bit. Look out, further back. Blaine Perkins in for Ren. Side over side. In car barrels. And we have a couch. You know, that would be like the ultimate call. Have like Rick Allen. Uh, the, I forgot exactly who it was from MRN that usually calls. Or some gets surprised by blowovers and starts calling them. And then you got Larry McReynolds. We need we need those three calling a flip. <laughs> hit me, hit me, hit me. Oh my god, these guys, please. Just stop trying to avoid the wreck. Slam into it. It's the last slap. Actually, that's why I might do... No, because then 
I'm not gonna go from the full lap, so we're gonna do something more real quick. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do four, and then turn this down even more. So hello, Brun. My Snyder, up and over. Uh, up. We got a car flipping down the back straightaway. You can see that far, Clint. Come on, Kevin. I can see that far. I, honestly, that would probably be like what happened in the Cup Series race. If someone flips down the back straightaway. Because like, I think I saw a car upside down, and then Kevin's like, "You can see that far back there." Yeah, I did do the mites crash. So. I already did literally and not literally. I did like on a full official attempt and then some people still say that it's not a flip, it's a flip, god damn it. The car was literally upside down when it was in the fence. Like when it caught and when it caught it was upside down when it got uh, swung around. And then it almost tipped over in the grass. With the axle completely out of it. I knew there was going to be a truck flip when I predicted it. <laughs> and I had a feeling that there was going to be a huge crash down the back stretch for some reason. I mean, it, obviously there's going to be at least one of those in Daytona weekend, but Jesus Christ. That was horrendous. <laughs> like, the whole field was involved. Like, from third on back, the whole field was involved. Like, there was no stopping people from wrecking that wreck. And still, we got people here. Like, what are they doing? Yeah, Tony Stewart definitely flipped in 2012. Like, his car is literally upside down. It's just he's on a car, so people are like, no, he didn't flip. And it's like, what? Some people are like, now he didn't flip, and I'm like, yes, he did flip. You stupid. A Chuck Bound flipped in the Austin or in the uh what the Open the West Winston Open in 1994, and some people say he didn't. He was his roof was literally grinding the ground. Um. Who is there? I, I, I say Mike Skinner was probably the closest one where you could say he didn't, but he was in a truck, and the truck ain't completely like symmetrical because it's more blocky up in the roof area. So that's why he didn't go all the way over. If it was a cup car that got hit like that, it, yeah, the car would have rolled over. They got the whole field in this one. They gotta roll out the backups. <laughs> like, I. Dude, the, the Arca race, I was like, okay, if we don't get like a horrendous, cool looking crash uh, on the last lap, uh, this race was stupid. And I'm like, if, that, if we don't get that, can the whole field just wreck and we can just cancel the race? Because then I won't have to care about staying up too late. Oh no! Come on! They just they stop way too quickly. I don't get why they stop. They either stop or they just don't move, or they don't, or they either stop way too hard, even though you have it so low, or they just go right through the crash at 150 miles per hour, even though really it should be slowing down just barely. I gotta get the spin correct. I had to get the spin just right to hit the wall just right. To have the car still going kind of straight behind me. The cars behind me. To where I can get hit just right. Have cars pile into each other just right. And then barrel roll over that, those pack of cars. And then come back to my re reels doing only one flip.
Perez crash was probably the one I wasn't expecting. I knew they were going to wreck hard, but I didn't expect him to actually get that far over. Like, I didn't expect him to actually land on a, or get on top of a car and almost turn over. Like, it was one of the more unexpected things. Like, I was un unexpecting a flip for trucks. Like, obviously I predicted it, but I didn't actually think it was going to happen. I thought it was just going to be one of those days where I just pr try to predict things and try to be a witch and nothing happens. I said the witch, by the way. Don't get mixed up. And then, uh, me having a normal life afterwards. And then, now, I'm just a witch at this point, because I literally called a flip out. If you were there like 20 minutes before the crash even happened, it might have worked, but, you know. I was just a spinning saucer for half that crash there. And then the Arca crash, now that was, like, the, the trucks weren't that surprising, but it was surprising of the way they happened. Because I thought it was going to happen earlier in the race, like, I thought it was going to happen earlier in the race. But then I realized when the crash happened, I was like, well, that's what you're going to get when the whole pack's coming at you, no slowing down. And with all that energy, of course, you're going to get uh, blown over the pack, like... It's, it's not gonna. It's not gonna help with all the energy at in the pack on the last lap. And then same with the Arca. Even though they crashed that hard, being probably about not even full speed because of the package of Arca, because it was a one lap shootout. It was a one lap shootout, so it, they only had like they didn't even. They would have not even been full draw before they got to the line anyways, and they wrecked that hard. Shows you to know that for some reason they're wrecking the cars are wrecking way harder now. Like obviously I knew the next gen obviously looks like it's gonna wreck harder just because of the way it is. But the trucks and the the arc cars, they just look like they were wrecking like super hard compared to everything. Especially like I, when I looked, when I saw Gray's crash, it was like the weirdest thing I have ever seen. But I know like later on it's not gonna look. Come on, where's the rest of the pack? Come on, guys. That was if you guys would have just pushed me over. That was like the per perfect setup. Come on now. Like if if uh, Corey Heim there was or like turned into me right there on my side and pushed me all the way over. With crowds getting pushed by craft and the me, like it would've been kind of cool, and there was like an actual crash that was happening too. So it was it was gonna be like a legit gym and good attempt. Also, I don't have Raja's car yet, and I hope it hap it was it, it gets made at some point, just so that I can uh, add him as a part of a crash. Oh, maybe the car. Like, like, gets involved but still goes, or keeps driving pretty straight. I don't know. I might just post it the way it is. I'm just gonna c try to cut out everything that's just, well, I didn't even do that for the plane crash, because I didn't even have Bush's car in the right spot. I don't think there's gonna be a flip in X-Ray race. I think the next thing we're gonna get closest to is uh, a catch fence crash, and it's gonna be a car getting hit, or getting hit, or the car getting spun in the middle of the pack, and then the car kind of going over a car, getting smushed by two cars, and getting up in there, and then get on the wall and kind of hit the fence a little bit, kind of a Ben Kennedy, but getting squished instead of a blown, a blow over kind of thing. It'd be cool, but I don't think we're gonna go for two for two for NASCAR. And or two two flips in twenty four hours. I, I I like I don't think so. Ah damn it, that was that was not good. Please at least get airborne, thank you. At least it was interesting. Can I get hit, please? No. This guy stinks. <laughs> he 
If we do get a flip, I'm just gonna say it's I'm gonna say it's gonna be the most boring flip I ever seen. And the easiest. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's gonna be like an Austin Cindric type thing. Or maybe like a car gets turned off the corner and just get blows over and just comes back down or something. Or does like a Jimmy Spencer through the uh grass there, the the road course grass, the Ryan Priest grass. Someone does like a Jimmy Spencer, as I mean Jimmy Spencer, I mean gets really up in there and comes back down the ground without flipping. That would actually be cool. Especially with the angle of the uh, camera from turn 3. The, the camera angle that we've seen multiple crashes in. That would be like a cool, cool ass shot. Just seeing the car start floating towards the camera and then laying back down. Now that would be cool. Now that I'm all good. Like, that, that's why I was like, okay, the Perez crash, is, it was cool. It wasn't a flip, but it, I, 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 I like it. Because it, it was a cool crash. They wrecked very hard, yes. And I might still have a little, um, little question abilities if anyone's still, you know, okay after that. Because I, I didn't really hang around too much. I was just kind of like, oh, yeah, I'm done. I'm going to sleep. Hit me, hit me. No! Oh, man. No, he hit me, but it pushed me back over onto my wheels. It didn't push me all the way over. It just pushed me back onto my wheels. Unless if I was seeing that wrong. Yeah, no, he hit me. Wait. Was that all the way back over? No, stop doing that to me. Try and keep the phone on the little piece of wood I have here. No. No, that kind of pushes me back over on my wheels. Darn it. It was... Okay, those types of things. It's just he needs to hit me right in the side. Like, in the center of my truck. And then maybe it'll work. And hopefully there's a more of a pack... Or a pack wad up instead of just three cars involved. It's not hard. The luck is hard to get. It's a pretty simple crash. Especially the way I want. That I say that if we get, it's going to be the one we use. Because it's going to be the closest thing I I feel okay with. Because the one, if we get a crash, where we get turned, we're in the air. Because obviously it's just how Anatoly 3 works. I can't really just stay on the ground and get hit and do a full barrel. Get turned in the wall backwards, completely backwards. And then get hit by like a pack of cards, go over, have a crash. Only barrel once through the air. Come back down my wheels, have a pretty decent sized crash. Like maybe six, seven cars involved in a wad. And then have one car... Obviously, like this car in front of me, not getting involved in anything, and uh, me uh, having a good day, and like if the pack was just right there, I don't know why we have the pa why the pack like slows down. We need the pack to be like right on us, but it seems like it never the pack like slows down. Like the first four, like the first four cars, I like get away, and then the rest of the pack is just like slowed. Do is we're gonna try to get up high here. 
a little push to him and then like try to side ref like a lot here. Try to like, put pull him back a little bit. You know, it might not affect him that much already. I sort of pat bottom side a little bit. And then get turn into the wall. Nope, it's not I don't get spin around fast enough. I need to be completely backwards when I get into the wall, not spinning. I had to hit it flush. Stop rotating. I had to hit it flush. If I can hit it flush, get airborne, and then get hit by the pack of cars, go all the way over, and have a crash going. It would be good. It's just a uh, lack of hoping, or the lack of having that happen. I need the pack to be like right there. I need Heim on the outside to be a decent ways where I can get all the way backwards before I hit the wall and he can hit me as I get airborne so I can go all the way up and over. And then hope the rest of the pack wrecks. Side draft, try to get like, try to hold him back a little bit, go up high, block to 11, come back down low, block to 19, like right there, I think it's good, I think the setup's good, and the setup's good, and the setup's good. Of course he flips over, like... Why we need like I hate when the AI do that. I have a good setup and it could have possibly happened, and then they just flip over out of nowhere. Sometimes it gets really stupidly annoying. I draft. Don't turn him though, just get really close to me, S just have him slow down just a bit. I want to try to get Corey to go kind of like three wide somehow, get split three wide somehow maybe. Maybe that could help us get the crash working again. I get, I, it's not enough, I get spun way too many, it doesn't. I don't get to spin quick enough before I hit the wall. I need to be completely backwards by the time I hit the wall. And then I need to get hit by the field. Yeah, we're trying to push Heim up a little. I'm gonna try and make him go three wide. Maybe this will help the way the setup is, unless if I can't push him up high. 
Come on, get get into his inside crafting. Uh, of course, crafting slows for him. Yeah, of course. Come on, like, where's the pack? The pack is like not there. The pack is like, they don't. Oh my God, the year fly by at 150 miles per hour. They only go through. Like, what is this? Where's my crash? That's not crashing. That's literally not even like close to crashing. I would do 90%, but I think that would be too quick. It would just make me blow over way before I even get hit. So that's why I'm trying to just go with what I have. And then, do they have their own? I think they have their own. God damn it. Yeah, they do. I, n I guess this, I've never seen this before, but okay. So now we can just put this back to where it was. I mean, this will help. Okay, yeah, the, the acceler deceleration is definitely down. I've already done all that. I already have the wind speed up, I already have the temperature down. I have, I just figured out that I did the wrong uh, I and I for AI, I just fixed that. Now I'm just seeing if the AI are actually on par right now. And I've done that too with a lot of my Renamics already. Now it just depends on if the AI actually treat or uh, need any more tweaking. Tweaking or not. There we go. Now we're, okay, we're three wide now, but this is not what I wanted. Come on, slow down a little bit more, thanks. Okay. I need you to turn me and then me to go all the way up and over. Come on. Nope, they did not. They're going three wide too quickly. They don't need to go three wide. They need to say three or two wide. They need to go three wide when we're wrecking, yeah, because. I need that one car on the outside to hit me all the way up and over. Definitely helped. It's just I need them to see two wide and then go three wide, slam into each other, slam into me, barrel roll me, and then hopefully no one else flips. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is try to push Heim out, get them too wide, keep 
them too wide, unless and the people in three wide in the back is fine. Cause what? Oh, of course I screwed the attempt because of that. Yep, I screwed the attempt because of that. Okay, yeah, I know I've completely screwed the attempt because of the first gear. And I can't see the gauge because my phone's in the way, but I need my phone to be in the way so I can see the chat so I can make sure no one's saying anything stupid. Or if those stupid bots show up again, like in during uh, COVID. Pretty decent crack in my neck there. Okay, stay too wide. Also, oh, I should have started in the first, anyways, there. I should have stayed in second. Why are you tr going high? Go low. Literally, go low. Thanks. I was about to say, if you, you're not even low, you're still in the middle of the track. Go low. It's not that hard. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. No, come on! Okay, they're definitely wrecking better, though. It's just like, okay, if we were able to, you know, actually have the pack to, you know, barrel into me and roll me all the way over, it would be perfect. Even then, I still think we would have even got it that close because we kind of spun the wrong way when we were up in the air. We kind of started trying to go back down barrel roll. I need to like hit the wall with the right rear or the left rear, I meant. Left rear, like at the corner there where the lights are, and then hit it, kind of get airborne, and then. Hit the front of the car into the wheel or into the wall, and maybe get to turn back facing the inside of the wall just a little bit. The front nose, and then hopefully, I'm airborne, get hit by the pack, and then go all the way over. Uh, that would be just good if it would please do that, if that's the only thing I can get, or do what in real life then get turned and then get plowed by the whole fuel and go over. Okay. Push him out just a little bit. I think Perez's crash would actually be easier to recreate than this. Because Perez's crash, you just gotta get wedged in the wall and then get lucky, maybe that, you, or you can just land on the top of a car as you come back down. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. See, they're just not coming up to me. They wreck right in front of me before they can even get up into me. Like, they're getting there, it's just like, they need someone to come in just fast enough to where they can hit them and not flip them over but hit them hard enough to where they can get sent into me and flip me all the way over. It's definitely hell, but it, it's possible if the AI and luck and time of space line up correctly. If 
we can get airborne and have the pack pile in and have someone hit them just hard enough into me, hit me, go all the way over, and come back down my wheels without touching the roof of the car, maybe just like the side of my car, have a pretty decent big crash and have the leader have be or have the leader be not touched by a uh, human uh, machinery and stupidity and we'll be good was there an on board of Taylor Gray? no I think it was only Dan uh, Daniel died I had an on board hit me all the way up no come on like I know 360's are quote unquote impossible if you can get hit just right you can get have it possible I can't the AI are stupid they can't turn into me they won't turn themselves into me I have to manually turn myself or the cars just go straight the only way that's gonna happen is if I can somehow give someone to try to go high and then me kind of hit them into someone else and have them turn down that's the only way I can get that those ones are not good either those ones are kind of bad because I'm not fully flipping, I'm half flipping. A full flips when your car does a full rotation, not a half rotation. Because a full rotation is like what Brendan Gaughan did, not like the first part of the priest crash. Multiplayer just make it laggier too. And we, I only had limited success with uh, multiplayer and dynamics, and the only one there is is the Ricky Bobby crash at, and John Gerard at tell the they got flipped from the end of the movie. That's like the only good one that's ever been recreated. Oh my God! Just hit me. See, I did a full flip there, but it wasn't in the air, and the pack wasn't pushing me. I just need to get pushed. All the way up and over. Like, if I can get up in there, get pushed, do a full flip, even if I'm not on top of them, it'll be fine. It's just I need that and then a, a big crash. Like, five, six, seven cars involved. It doesn't need to be the 15. They don't need to be stopped on the infield. They just need to be spinning, crashing, slamming the wall, slamming each other, and not flipping each other over. I think it's about Crafton's crash. He didn't really get hit by the whole field. He just got hit after being already up in the air. And since there's no truck bed roof flaps at that time, he was able to go all the way over. Here, he just got hit by the whole f pretty much a wad of cars, and that's why he was able to go completely up and over. Now, if he just got hit by Daniel, I think he would have just gone airborne really hellaciously, and then. <sighs> Come on, like, what are we doing? When will, whenever I can, like, whenever this happens. We've only been doing it about an hour anyways. Yeah, only about an hour anyways. I can go until, like, half an hour status. I'm yeah, start using this camera. Maybe we have better luck. I I know this ain't like that's like a stupid observation because that's probably never happens to people. 
But I feel like it's easier for me to do this to give me a better crash, honestly. People are like, that's not how it works. Camera angles don't increase your chance. It, it, sometimes when I'm in this camera, it feels better to do it, though. So I think it's just easier. A little blue stare. Don't worry about it. Now we just gotta have... Majeski turn us right now. Get hit, get hit, get hit. Ah, Majeski's up and over, of course. And then Brinder with the out of nowhere hit. It's not. I'm not counting that. That's not. No. Because I'm literally. I'm literally like in the fence right there. And I didn't roll all the way over, anyways. I was in the catch fence, so that, that that doesn't count. The air D cell? What is air? Oh, he's AI. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Please don't write a message already. 11 a.m. Monday, 11 a.m. Jesus. And I saw that coming. I don't even mean, like right now 11 a.m. Like it's already past 11 a.m. sir. I think they should just already call the cup race for Monday too. I don't think they're getting the 500 in tomorrow. If they do, if they don't and they go like halfway and have the race in, in, in halfway, I just want at least a, a flip happen, or a big one. What? I wasn't even hooking. Oh my god, this is why I hate this camera angle. God, like, carrying. Some camera angles have certain things that are cool about them, and then some camera angles you just can't see what you're doing. I wasn't even hooking him, it looked like, and he just got turned. God, I. It didn't even look like I was even on his bumper, and then I hook him. So annoying with these camera angles. If I use this, I won't even know if I'm getting turned correctly, so I can't use that. This crash is just... I've already changed that. I've already changed the AI panic cell. I changed the grip too. I just don't know what else I can do because I don't want them no breaking it. Because the the stranglers that always happen during these types of dynamics where there's a pack, the stranglers always run through the whole field and cause a car to flip. I don't need that. Like there's one car back there that's not part of the field for some reason. Yeah, I did that too. I did the that's why I meant by grip too. Come on, like just oh my god. Go stay up. Like they don't It's not the AI modifiers, it's them not staying up. And them not not wanting to hit anybody for some reason. When there's definitely dynamics I have done where I don't want anyone to hit anyone, and they just completely destroy each other. 
I don't know. I wasn't even looking at the draft distance. Oh, I know I changed it. And I don't know if I rechanged it. I don't know. I don't think that would help either, because I, I tried one where they were 30 wide, and nothing happened. They just slid, and or s they, were, they were just spinning, and nothing else was happening, because the whole field started slowing down again. I need somehow for them to be a little bit, if they could just be lower, like they just, I don't get why these guys made the line so high up on the track. Like, in these races, look, they're like right next to the wall up here. Like, look, see, they're right up next to the wall. They need to be down here. The lines are just the, what's really screwing me, because they're just already at the top when they need to be, like, in the middle. <sighs> Come on, just hit me all the way over. That's not all the way over. That's literally not even close to being all the way over. That's literally just half. When the car does that, it's not all the way over. It needs to be a full flip, not a half flip. Because it doesn't make a full rotation. It makes one. It goes one way and it comes back a different way. It doesn't go one whole rotation. That's why I've been saying about those attempts. That's why those attempts I don't save when they kind of look good because they don't do the correct thing. If someone kicked me or hit me when I was still an airborne and about to turn all the way over, and they hit me just right and I did turn all the way over, then yeah. It's a matter of the AI just listening and doing what they're supposed to do. And if they were able to actually, you know, stay down further on the track and not getting checked up so early, and maybe being able to go up when there's a crash and avoid it and then hit me just right, then, you know. All the way over, all the way, come on, like, look at that, the whole field just, like, splits, it doesn't go straight. The car doesn't, the car, like, they're literally in a pack. Once I get turned, they just split up and stop. They don't. They don't do what in real life where it takes them a second to actually move. Master Heat 5, you're literally asking for a death sentence trying to reenact a crash. Especially with those stupid walls, the sticky walls. It's more possible, but it looks stupider. Because the way you just instantly stop and then you get kicked up and the kick flipped up into the field for some reason. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Of course, like, I don't get why we went up in the fence just then. We'll even go in the fence and then we'll get in the fence somehow and then just, like. Like, what is happening? This is why I don't like flips like this. Because the AI are incompetent of anything. The AI are so incompetent. 
are incompetent to do anything remotely cool or remotely nice to do certain crashes with. This is why I'm saying the Perez crash is actually going to be better. Because I have to turn the car into the wall. And then I get turned by another car go up into the wall. I don't have to wait for AI. I force the AI to go into the wall with me. At that point, it's just me hoping that I stay on the car through the whole part. And not, you know. Watch some kids say that and then their flip is literally a, a, a Harrison Burn dynamic. Like, that's literally what half these attempts that some people are saying are not right, which I get why they say it's alright, because so far it's like the closest thing we get, but Jesus. I'm not counting those, I'm not saving those. Now, if I do a full flip, and it's on the ground, and the field's kind of crashing, I will keep that if I feel it, if we, uh, we don't get a better one. Flip me! No, why?! See, the pack is wrecking. This is nice. See, the pack was wrecking. I... Oh, my God. If... If Ekis was on the left side... If there was a better way of showing you... Okay, if he hit me right here. He hit me right there. He needs to hit me right here to get me all the way and up and over. It's just like in real life how Gray got flipped. He needs to be hit right here, on this part. If I already have the roof flaps off, there is literally no roof flaps in this crash. There is no roof, not even a single roof flap pops up on my car. Um. Yeah, like if he just hit me right here, the car would have probably went some somewhere like that. But I think it would have probably had the rear end go down and then Sanchez would probably hit me and get got me all the way back and over but the wreck is nice the wreck is good having about how many other cars that was that's it's a good decent pile up what's that oh I just hope we see another flip by the time uh Dates on is over. Or if As my microphone just went out for some reason, I don't know what that was. Let him go, I don't care. Just give me a full flip. Get turn, get hit by a pack, have a car pack crash, you know, like five, seven cars involved. Uh, let me do a full flip, full rotation, not a half rotation back onto my wheels. A full rotation back on my wheels. Alright, if I take off the restrictor plates, the cars are not going to be packed up. I need them to be packed up. That's the only way that this crash is even going to happen, is if they're packed up. It's just this stupid, god-forsaken wall. The crash is perfect, but I hit the wall stupidly. The wall is just not helping, it's just making things worse. Because I need a, I need a hit, the, I need, okay. I need to get turned right where the guy doesn't hit me in the front again and makes me slam in the wall and start spinning all over the place. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. But I need them to not hit me wheel to wheel so they slam in the front of my car. If they hit me wheel to wheel and turn me all the way around and I can get back into the wall. 
then yeah. It's just so... <sighs> they are so finicky. It's just if, you know, super speedway AI can actually be lower on the track and actually not be next to the wall. I can go all the way into the wall before and maybe pop back into the pack and then go all the way over. Like that would actually probably work. Cop, why are you stopping? Like, why are you stopping? You, there should be, I've done everything brake related and nothing is working. No one is stopping, like there, there's no brakes, even though I have them have no brakes. Like what's, look, hand cell one, this is 90, even though I thought I put it to 40. I'm going to put it to 30. If this doesn't change anything, then I'm, s I swear it's just the game being stupid. And the AI just being stupid because the AI lines. Now with the arc crash, it said before, I for I can force the AI to wreck with me correctly. I just gotta turn one car in an outside wall and then get turned by a car and go on my side. It's that easy. This you have to wait. You literally have to wait for the AI to do anything. That's why I hate this crash. Because this crash, you have to wait for AI. Good crashes, you don't have to wait for the AI. The only reason why the Matt Crafting one turned out the way it did because I didn't use anyone to push me over. Because literally, I just had to smack the wall up and over. But why, there I go. Test brakes, they're still breaking. Even then. I hate the stupid heart thing, too, because I can't see. The chat, like the end of the words. If I do this, okay, I think that worked. I think the heart is gone now. Hopefully, maybe I can actually see. I can actually see the comments. Hopefully. I don't want to put it too low because then they'll just wreck. Um, in the corners, I I need them to wreck down the straight into me, not wreck in the corners. Nowhere near me. Up and over, up and over. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Oh my god! Just hit me. If someone could just hit me all and push me. I wish I had like another tool to show you if if like Sanchez hit me right there and like spun me around like the way I did the this side of the side car or the right the left side would have been the car their side of the landing on not the right side and then that would have been technically a full flip and maybe I would have saved it If I, at this point, if we get turned into the wall, get airborne, and then get hit the car, and I do a full flip even if I hit the ground with the roof of my car, and we get a pretty decent pile up, I'll just, I'll just claim that as the reenactment. I was going to claim that as a reenactment anyways, but with the obsession of not touching the wall, or touching the ground at all with the roof. But now I just want a full flip uh, and a big crash, and that's literally all I need. It may be pretty far up in the air before I uh, do the uh, full flip stuff. And they're three wide. 
This is not going to be a good attempt. I can already feel it. Action all this action. No, it's... No, they kind of sorted it out. That might be pretty good. Let's see. And I'm in the catch fence. Oh, why is there a... <sighs> why when I hit the wall, it should bounce me back into the pack? Why? <sighs> and why it should bounce... Why? Just why? I don't even care what falls off my desk anymore. Uh, I let's just do three more attempts before it, I literally lose it before we try to do the Arca crash. Because I feel like I'm gonna have way more success with the Arca crash. Because I don't even need to be on top of the car the whole way. I just need to be on top of him before. Or uh, while I'm in the wall, and then when we slide down, if we hit the apron, I get off of him, and that's all right. Because uh, honestly, is what I expect. I think it will be easier. It just depends on what happens. I'll do three or four. I'll, I'll probably just do four for the maximum amount. Of times, you know, maximum content, I guess, I don't know what you would call it. What? Okay, that doesn't count. Why is it, like, like, what is that? Like, why did I, oh my god, that doesn't count, that's so stupid. I hate when I, I, I say that, and then the last attempts are just complete garbage for no reason. Like, the game hears me, and they don't want me to get this crash. I literally, what I say is I spent too much of my luck. Spent too much of my luck already on Reanimix by the time I got to 100 subscribers. Come on. Why? Why? Just why? How can I? I kept it pretty straight so I can actually get back up here without any problems. Come on, you're going down or are you going to stay high? Or just stay right in the middle of the track. I see how it is, Majeski. And he does the same fucking thing. Why? That doesn't count either. It's literally Majeski's fault at this point. Majeski's just not moving out of the way. Get Go high or stay low. It's not a... Eat. It's not a hor it's not a hard decision. You were at, you were high at one point. Stay high. Like I don't know. AI stop being stupid. That doesn't count. It doesn't. <laughs> attempts like that where I get screwed before we even start. I those ones don't count. No, I can. It's just I'm trying not to. Because first, for, for, uh, first of all, is because uh, more people can watch, and that's one thing. And second of all, if I ever need to be in a situation of talking to someone angrily and I, I get in trouble, um, like if I have to deal with an, or if I have to deal with something as an adult with a random stranger, I would, I would rather try to. Not use it. Well, if you have a PC, you can get it, and you can look up a tutorial on it. 
the title of the game is literally in the script in the title, so you should be able to find it. Nope, there should be no problems with it. Hit me all the way up and over. Hit me all the way up and over. Like, what? Like, what? I thought there was supposed to be no breaks. It's not even the chat's fault at this point telling me what to do. I've literally done already everything. And I know what happens with all of this stuff. And I know what's supposed to happen. It's just the game is just not letting it happen. Like, I literally would have probably got slammed by that car that would have hit me at the end there. And it would have went over if the D-Seal actually worked. Just search it up. Or search up a tutorial and then you should be fine. Because I'm not going to be doing a full install tutorial while on stream. Here now I go to um, drnoise.com race or yeah drnoise.com air three or just search up Dr. Noise air three and hopefully I believe there's an install there. I don't know if it's God damn it. I don't know if it's that one or it's um no, because that site's gone now, it's not that one. Maybe you can try my bandware. Come on, like, that doesn't count either because we were f screwed, f I screwed up the start anyways. I still have three attempts. There was only one of those attempts after I said that actually worked, and it was the one before that one. Because I actually had a chance. When I see the car, I have a chance of potentially doing the wreck is when I call it an attempt. I don't go off of what happened, because it's stupid. I should not leave off of an attempt of a wreck uh, stupidly where we just spin on our roof 17 million times and throw up because of dizziness and how bad that attempt was. See, like, I mean, uh, no! Oh my god, it was all right, and then f uh, stupid Brett Helms. It wasn't the best, but no, nope, never mind. Never mind. I shame even got my hopes up for what. I can tell by the look of that thing; it was too spinny, anyways, and no one really hit me. It was kind of good if I was, you know, getting pushed by the pack. God, this crash gets so stupid. Why is this crash so dumb? Like, why did it become this dumb? You could have just had like a simple blow over. If the whole pack didn't decide to fly into there. Or if it, if, uh, Gray didn't flip over and, uh, fuck, uh, Wood, uh, just, you know, blew over on the inside. They're like a little. Harrison Burton, that would have been kind of good. Because then I could just actually act like Raj returned me. And then have Gray go into the outside wall and they all wreck and then me upside down on the inside without any problems.
or if Stuart Friesen barrel rolled in that first crash, like I turned up, so, like weight shifted, or whoever else was in that, that could have weight shifted. Yeah, of course. Attempt that was worth looking at. But the fuel wasn't even wrecking, and. <sighs> Never mind. I'm gonna do two more. I don't even care if that was probably this third to last one I should have had, or second to last one I should only have one more attempt. I'm still having one. I do not care. It's my stream, goddammit. And I know all of you guys kinda want me to still do this and try to get some type of success attempt at least. Some, something good. <laughs> it makes my song sense. It sentences, it sentence enhancers. God damn it. Fuck you, Corey. I'm, there we go. Sentence enhancers. Or enhan en 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 words. God damn. Enhancers. There we go. Also, don't take that personally if you're a Corey Heim fan. Okay, if we like... Okay, how about this? I think uh, this wreck would have happened if I say, uh, fuck you, Time Majeski. Let's see if this uh, definitely an attempt to watch. Why are we like, why is the bottom lane all of a sudden really fast? Um, nope, I'm still on my roof. I'm still on my roof. I am still on my roof. I'm still on my roof. And I'm still on my roof. And I landed on my roof. Oh, so it didn't work. Cool. Uh, okay, I'm trying not to do that ever again. Okay, I, I, I'm... I'm gonna say, this is, I'm gonna, okay, we're gonna, this is the last one. Last attempt, if it's, if the start of it is appealing, or, what's the word? Uh, if the start... Uh, words. Um. Uh, I forgot. I don't know what the word's called. If the re if the start of it looks promising, there we go. Goddamn words, man. That's why I use sentence enhancers. I think those are the sentence enhancers. Come on, watch. Come on, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Sponge. Spongy Bubble. Bubble Boy. Or is it Bubble Boy? I think it's Bubble Boy. Pretty sure it's Bubble Boy. Bubble Man. <laughs> Get all the way up and over. Come on, land up. My God, it was. I will admit it did look pretty promising, so I'm sorry it has to be the end like that. I flew way too goddamn high, though. That's the only problem there. I didn't think it was, I was flowing that high in first place, so I'm sorry, but, you know. Okay, before we start the Perez crash, I'm gonna throw a, bo a bottle out real quick, and I'm gonna have to, uh... Get water.
Okay. Um, was the audio muted that whole time with the truck stuff behind it? Or into the wheel, or into the wall, and maybe. Ah, I guess if I do that, or I press the button, I never okay. realized. Um, was the. Stop that. Thank you. Um. Yes, prize flies. That's what we're gonna do. First, I'm gonna do this real quick, just so I can make sure I don't. Uh, where is it? Put it over there, and put this as uh, I don't know, truck. There, track truck. <laughs> what a great name. So here, actually, we don't even need to do that. We just need to take off the. Uh, actually, we don't even need to do that. We literally just need to take off the. Uh, um, realistic weather, so then we can just have 70 degrees instead of negative 50 or whatever it was. Also, I gotta add roof laps, hold up. Let me get to the cars, though. Also, so now I can uh, go through the cars with you so I can tell you why I use this. Actually, I think this is the 2014, or 2013 and 2014. I think I picked the wrong one. This one. Um. So, um, depending on how long the Perez crash takes, is going to depend on if we come back to the Taylor Gregg flip. If we get this within 20 minutes, then we'll go back to it for about like 30 minutes. And then if we don't get it, we'll just do it off stream, or I'll do it off stream. Um, if this takes a long time and we get it, or if we don't get it after like an hour or so, then um, we'll just do both of them off screen for a little bit. And then I'll try to get a string going at some point, like maybe... Mm. Like when Wednesday or something like that. Okay, let's see. So we got the two car, which it's Lavar Scott, but the paint scheme is about about the same paint scheme. You got this guy. It's same three car. Uh, Cordy's also Cor Corley is in the same car. Jack Wood, I don't remember him. Sean Corr is pretty much in the same car. This is actually Perez's car, but, you know. Actually, I think if I put go to all, he has a two car that's the same. Yeah, there it is. But it's not black, I don't think. I don't think he has a black two car. Unless if he was in the East series. Not, oh, wrong one. East. Does he have a black two car? Doesn't look like it. Nah, he only has a white. So we're going to be using uh, Scott Lavar's car, or Lavar Scott's car, uh, because it's the only black two car. Greg Van Alst's car is pretty much the same, same with Ryan Huff's car. Uh, Brad Smith's car has been the same since after Talladega 2015. Tony and Brian Gere's car can technically be uh, Gustine's car since she's in the 25 car now. And since Gus, you literally could just swap these two. I could use Tracy Love's car. It's all right. Because <laughs> I don't think anyone else is in a 20 car besides Jesse Love. I, anything, if anything, I could just switch that car, honestly. Switch to that car. Oh, Jake Finch. Okay, well, hold up. <laughs> Sorry, um, you're going to see this. Uh, live. We're gonna do this real quick. Now, where are those cars at? These are about... I think these are the cars. Yeah, I think. Because I think these are Taldega cars. No, these are like a year before. 
Steve, Sammy Smith, so these are about 2022. Yeah, about 2022 because it's a totally gray car there. Randy Van Oss car. This is, I believe, this last year's car. Uh, it's going to take a second because I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be. Like, where I'm supposed to be to find the right cars. Could just do this too. Could just find the 2023 uh, Arca car like this already. There we go. Uh, Grand Venos car was not that blue. Uh, that Brad Smith car. Actually, this is probably cl actually closer than uh, the Arca car. Um. There was definitely a 13 car. It's not the correct paint scheme, but, you know, there, there was definitely a, a 13 car. Um, there was a 27 car, but that would be the Tom, or Tim Wrenchman guy. Uh, don't think there was a 15 car. There was definitely a 2 car, which we're going to be. There was definitely an 02 car. It was not the same paint scheme, obviously, but it was the same driver, I believe. Uh, there was a six car, which I think there will be a better paint scheme of a six car down here, because I believe that car was also a black car. Uh, oh, this is where it is. Okay, Tim Richmond's car, three car, Christian Rose's car. Even though it's these three or these two right here aren't perfect replicas. These guys, Quarley. I don't know if he finished though. Uh, and then you gotta have. The 55 and the 25. Of, actually, no, not the 55. We, well, we only need the 55, that's right. We need the 20 car is what we need. And we need to find that 120 car I was looking at. Uh, I think Kayla was still racing at that point. Sean Core. I Manny checked wrecked. Andy, that, we need Andy. Melon got wrecked. 68 car, I don't know if he was still racing at that point. Of the race. I think he was still racing too. I think he was still racing. Um, there's Shake Finch car, so we'll use that. There was a 28 car, but that was Shane. That was Shane. I think he was still in it, but he was just like in the back. I'll just put that car there just because we need a 6 car. Because there was a 6 car at the end of that race. I, tw I'll just add the 25. That'll, that'll be our 25. No, it's 55. God damn it, I'm stupid. We'll just add this as a 25 because it doesn't show Brian Denier on here. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, like, driver wise, that I can remember. That I can remember, and that I can tell was still racing. I think the 30 car was still racing. As you can see, it has Muniz on the car. If there was like a car that had no Muniz on it, maybe it would actually be useful. We also can add a couple cars. Oh, no, no, Daniel Dye was not in the race. I thought Daniel Dye was in the race. Maybe Cole Moore? I think Cole Moore was in there. I think I saw him. I don't know if it was the same car or not, but I believe I saw him. Like, I'm genuinely serious. I believe I saw him in the race. I just don't know. There was definitely a 27. We already picked a 27. I don't know if there was a 29. I don't know if there was a 19. Did not know if there was a 16. I might just add a couple of these 2023 cars just so that we can add them up, you know. Where's the rest of the field at? Where's like the 2023 cars list at? Gustine. 23. I believe there was a 23 car, maybe. Uh, I think there was a, tw a 65 car. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's still some people out here. I, I don't really care if you guys like chat. I don't know if I don't really care what you chat about, as long as it's nothing stupid. Like inappropriate 
stupid, you know. Uh, I don't know if there's a 44. I'm just gonna add it. I don't know. I I think there was a 12. I don't know. I, I mean, there was a 68 and 69, but the 69 car got wrecked. I don't know about the 68 car though. I, I hate this. Not because it's hard. It's just because I don't like using my brain. Where's all those cars I listed before? Is it right here? Oh, it's turn here. Okay, I'm stupid. Um, I'm just gonna say the 42 was there, and then the 68 car was there. There, boom. There, there's your 2024 set. Obviously, definitely, definitely a dang here. Yeah, they had 34, but there's only like 20 car, 20 to 15 cars in the actual pack at the end. Because they had like three cars, or not three cars, like thir there was like five, there was like a ten car, not a ten car crash, but like an eight car crash in the beginning of the race. There's definitely, there was a, a hard three car wreck. There was a car on fire, there was a car losing tires, there was cars spinning all over the place. Cars like low on power, I don't know. I think 21 to 24 is perfectly fine for right now. Um, so we'll use this car. Because this is pretty much as close as we're going to get to the actual car in real life. Unless we use this one. But that m looks more of like the 6 car type. So we'll use this. Go Daytona Night. So we don't really got to change anything about that yet. Put as many cars. We might put it to. Now nah, we'll just put it that way. A casual arc race. Like, I know what the two car and the six car looked like. The two car looked like what I have, and the six car looked like what I was about to get going with, you know. Arnold. Arnold, uh, you know. Sarah, man. I just hope whoever I dump into the wall doesn't hits it dolly or hits it spins around kind of like uh, hits it and gets out of the way so uh, I can go up into somebody and hopefully I can get on my side onto them and then hopefully uh, the pack passes by without destroying us. If they hit us, I just don't want to flip over nor have like a really serious final looking crash. I kind of just want to get hit where I hit, kind of pop up a little bit and come back down on those. And then maybe rope whoever I land on slides down and gets hit. Okay. I need someone in front of me, though. Because whoever gets turned by me is going to be the 20 car. We all know that, or should know that. And then whoever's leading the race is going to be the uh, winner, which is the 55 car. Okay, that is. I mean, the setup was good. No one would have ran into me if we wrecked up here. Where is where was that in the Tyler Gray arena? I literally almost did a full complete flip without flipping back over. So, come on now. So, that one, I didn't get up in time to actually get clipped correctly, but it was the right way I wanted to do it. It's just the AI kind of wrecked a little differently than I wanted and anticipated to. 
I kind of just wanted the guy on the inside to go straight into the wall, not collect anybody else, and then have the guy that I got turned by, uh, kind of wedge me, get me, get wedge under me. Like, I don't care how long he stays under me, it's just, we have to at least stay on each other, or stay on him for a decent while before we, uh, get off of him. Like, if we stay on him, we're, like, starting to slide down the banking, and then we roll off of him, not like flip off of him, but you know what I mean, like get off of him, roll, uh, then we, that, that would count as a good attempt, and probably one I would use. I don't know. I don't know what, maybe check the Northwest Racing uh, League site, I think that's what that would be. Out of way. Oh man. No, no. I think we're gonna have to do a lap. Because it's, it's definitely gonna be easy to drive. It's just a matter of time. Let's see if anyone actually like destroys themselves. Maybe I can get in front of them. But it should not be this fast compared to me. Well, this is literally 70%, bro. Yeah, Northwest Racing. I believe you're there Delta Sim Racing, I can't remember. Ah, darn it, I didn't get turned all the way around. Ooh, that was a hard if Oh, and there goes the 55 car up and over. Oh, barrel rolling hard, hard, man. That's actually a pretty realistic crash before he started, like, tumbling. It right there, I kind of missed him. If I would have hit him just right, I would have probably, you know. And then boom. And then, you know. wait, what happened to the four car? He just started tumbling, too. He just got hit and started tumbling too. Okay. I didn't see him barreling. Is that what you guys saw? What? There were some more cars flipping over and I only saw this guy. What's happening? Drivers, start your engines! Well, if he checked. Delta and I, he couldn't find it, and I don't know. Because I believe it's on there. So when he gets some turn into that sort of will get hit by something. Then I, get, I go low, come back up, slam into someone, go up into the wall, get wedged underneath by somebody land on their car, slide down on their car, and get off their car before there's a chance of you trying to flip. Oh. I don't care how high I get, because it's going to be kind of hard to get to the lengths of what happened in real life, where he was literally about 90 degrees, almost about 90 degrees up in there, and almost into the catch and stuff in there. Like, those limitations are kind of hard. Now we're three wide. Guys, what are we doing here? Actually, hold up. Wait too hard. Calm down. There we go. Then we can start to try to pass. Have the 73 try to get up there. him now and then get hooked right into the wall nope I don't know if this is gonna actually work the AI are acting like we can't even like get on the apron look at that that guy just randomly flipped over and he wasn't even going that fast this guy is upside down too I don't know if this I'm gonna have to uh 
definitely fix some settings. Especially pack settings, like everyone is so strung out. And I think that's why everyone's flipping. Because everyone's all strung out. Okay, I know this is gonna be this is gonna be sound sad sounding. Unfortunately, um, I'm only gonna be able to do this seven more times. Not because of anything me bad. It's I have to uh, attend to something that I actually forgot about. And I don't want to be late for it. I don't want to be specific because I don't want to uh, harm anybody. That's a lot of ways I have to go somewhere anyway, so... I kind of forgot about that part. The truck flip kind of just made me forget about everything. And screwed everything up for me. Down before honey man try to destroy everybody. I think we're just going to stop it there. I know I barely did any attempts on this crash, but I think... I think it's just too much for it to do two of these crashes with almost the same exact thing. And try not to destroy one, uh, I and I for a certain crash and make an art and art to use with a different crash. Like, I, I'm going to probably have to do these two separate times. Yeah, I, I'm sorry about that. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing the beginning of the 1965 season, so uh, yeah, I, I I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to end it there because of uh, reasons of Intercept Three and me not wanting to screw up my eye and eyes just because of uh, chances that these wrecks will just get out of hand and interfere with each other and screw each other attempts up so uh, i'll see you guys later